Hey guys, hi, welcome back once again. My name is Vaishali and today I'd once again like to talk about responsibility or rather what taking responsibility looks like. So when we talk about responsibility or taking self-responsibility through my personal understanding, which is with regards to some personal interactions that I've had, it almost kind of seems that many of us think or many of us assume that responsibility actually means taking the complete baggage on our own shoulders, which almost sounds like becoming hyper-independent, invariably somewhere implying that there's nobody else I can count on to, that there's nobody else that I trust and therefore I need to bear this entire thing on my own. So then maybe it's also about understanding that responsibility is not about hyper-independence. But responsibility is also about acknowledging where one needs help, where one needs a little guidance and thereby giving ourselves the chance to become a little more open, a little more vulnerable, to be able to ask for help when required, to be able to ask for guidance when required which in a way has been depicted through the movie Dear Zindagi, which in a way has also been depicted through the movie English Winglish, wherein this particular lady does not know how to communicate in a certain language efficiently, effectively and impactfully. And when she becomes aware of that, she takes personal responsibility to ask for help, to ask for guidance, wherein she joins this class with other students or other learners willing to learn something new. So responsibility in my understanding is not about becoming hyper-independent, but rather responsibility is a freedom that gives us the choice to become open and to become vulnerable, to be able to ask for help as and when required to be able to ask for guidance and mentorship in the areas in which we feel that we need to become more competent, in the areas in which we feel a little held back, in the areas in which we feel we are struggling. Exactly in the manner which has also been shown in the movie Dear Zindagi, wherein once this character recognizes that there are certain places in her life which needs to be addressed, wherein she is struggling, she takes it upon herself to take it as her responsibility to seek guidance to seek some kind of a help in the areas where she is struggling, where she is unable to find insights which some other person can help her get. So let's try and think about self-responsibility as having the freedom of choice to be able to respond well to situations in our lives. Let's try and do that for ourselves, both in personal and interpersonal ways. Let's try and do that for ourselves and I will see you once again the next week. Till then, stay tuned in. And guys, if you do like the contextual content of these videos, please do like, share and subscribe.